What is going on, you polite pipple up? Today we're playing some games with Eternatus. We played some games yesterday with Vika Vault. Now let's play games with the biggest deck to come out of the new set, which is the Eternatus V Max deck. And um, it's been not as good as I thought it would be, um, but it's still pretty good. It's still pretty good. I don't think I've got quite got the list the way I want it to be. This is what I've been working with um, most recently. Got the 4 4 Eternatus line, got the Hoopas. Got the goons not playing the scoop up net uh you at all jacks build i feel like that is like takes away too much from just trying to be consistent and trying to play the game with the eternity so i haven't been playing that um i do have the meowth uh in the deck with the spoil the fun i thought why not give it a try it's been pretty funny so far so i really like the i really like the meowth i got absol on here because it's dark pokemon and disrupts our opponent so why not the rest of the list pretty straightforward we got the four research four marnie three boss i've been between four and three boss the reason i've been liking four boss is just so i can have it when i want it um currently sitting at three we've got some acro bikes in here trying to be a little bit more aggressive like i said the consistency is something i'm trying to work out with this deck i'm trying to make it consistent it's what i've been struggling with got some dangerous drills in here dangerous drills is kind of super good right now i feel like um and i've had them in and out i've had a lot of things in and out of this list got them in here currently right now um really good in mirror match because a lot of special energy in mirror match right now so dangerous drills really good for me i got four great ball four quick ball no comms i don't like the idea of putting pokemon back in my deck when i'm trying to get a bench uh, as big as i am for the a turn just to get one hit KOs. Two reset stamp. I think late game in situations against uh, other big decks, mirror match, set of scorch, stuff like that. You want these stamps to really stop your opponent from being able to pull out big plays. Black market. I mean, you need a stadium in the deck to make them to, to have something. So may as well have your opponent draw less prize cards. Um, so yeah, I got the black market in there, and I got four air balloon, no switch. And the reason I got the air balloons because you can always kind of just play down air balloons on Pokemon to have them be more useful than a switch would be if you just play down a switch immediately um to make room in your hand so you can draw more cards with the dark asset from the crowbat um so i've been liking the balloons over the switches for that reason and then we got 11 energy in here we got four capture four hiding i said there was a lot of <laughs> energy in these decks and then we got the three basic dark there was a lot of special energy in a turn just right now my list specifically is a ridiculous amount um and that's it that's the list this is what i've been liking a lot of different ways to play the deck right now I'm trying a lot more stuff too, but I want to come at, come at you guys with something for Eternatus. So this is what I have currently. It's probably going to change by tomorrow, I'm not going to lie. But if you do want to see the updated list and the different list, I'm streaming every day over twitch.tv slash AzulGG, playing all kinds of decks from Darkness of Blaze, updating decks, changing decks, everything's changing early on in the format. So um, yeah, check that out. Twitch.tv slash AzulGG. Let's get into some games. All right, we won the coin flip here. I'm gonna go first. Uh, this is a this is a deck where we want to go first. I feel like I've been playing decks recently where I've been choosing to go second. I'm like, ah, right, it's good to go second with this deck. Yada yada. We're going first with this one. All right, we need an energy, so we want to create a chance of getting an energy as much as possible. There's a big blind. Our opponent's active, so I'm gonna start with Great Ball. With gonna Quick Ball away and Eternatus. Grab. I think Absol. To be honest, I think I think I want Absol here. Got two more Eternatus V Max in the deck. Uh, let's just, uh, grab hoop. Hoop's really good to have it around, actually. Bench hoop, bench hoop. So I thinned out the Pokemon before I play the Acrobat because I want the Acrobat to hit an energy. Did not, but I got the Air Balloon. Um, and it looks like they are playing a Blounds deck by this big Blound and they're active. So I do want to move my turn to so then we're a Crobat. We're going to hit an energy here. We're going to hit it. Ooh, it's close. All right. Got the energy here to attach. And we can get out another turn to here. Maybe another turn is VMAX. I'm gonna go ahead and retreat into probably the Meowth, kind of the, the worst Pokemon. I'm not gonna air balloon it. It looks like we're up against Baby Blound, so um I don't I don't need a uh, be afraid of my hand being shuffled into my deck really, so I'm just gonna hold on to the hand. Uh so this is a pretty rough matchup, if you didn't know. Baby Blound's kinda good against uh decks that are worth a lot of prize cards, like Eternatus. So I, I don't know what's gonna happen in this one, to be honest. We'll see uh but uh we can win it's possible they have a lot of, they might put a lot of two prize pokemon to play we're already down one boss um so that's kind of rough of course cause for us to be able to chase down these two prize pokemon they have one in play for sure which is the cephalon jacks which is also in the active um so we can do something with that and with stuff like zation to dene crobat or Corio making their way into play is not ridiculous so there's a heat factory fall flint into a heat factory from our opponent there's the baby blown. Oh boy. All right, here we go. Comes the welder to the baby blown. Set up, ready to go. Um, 
Yeah, I would be I would be fine if they knocked out. If they're gonna take a swing with this Blacephalon early on, I'd be fine if they knocked out my Meowth, actually. I'd be fine with that. I actually welcome the, the Meowth knockout so I can take out the Blacephalon and maybe they won't have a follow-up tomorrow for my Eternatus. So uh, I, I'd be fine with this. Um, um All right, capture energy is not gonna cut it. Capture energy does not cut it. We need a darkness energy here. Looms be active. Crobat for four. Darkness energy or supporter. Got the darkness energy. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a big fan of this hand. <laughs> we got one, two, three. We got a, a three, six. Yeah, so we got enough for the KO. I'm just gonna go ahead and bench this Eternatus as well. I'm gonna keep the Zigzagoon around. Yeah, I don't I don't like this hand, man. I don't like this hand. It's not a lot of options. We haven't seen the support. A Marnie would have been great here. A dangerous drill to remove this stadium would have been great. Um, I took, can you remove this with Dangerous Drill? Dude, it's been so hard. This card is... Another stadium card comes into play. If it, uh, nope. Uh, can you, like, not feel... Uh, dude, I remember there was, like, something about... There's some stadium being bumped. Like, Am I losing my mind? All right, just play their turn. Fire Crystal coming down. Do they have seven? It looks like they're going to have seven. All right, we have no follow-up to this seven energy clown that's about to happen gonna have to take the hit and go from here what do we need on our turn we just need to set up our turn i guess we need to attach our turn yeah we're gonna get knocked out we need to get replace the stadium find reset stamp uh the blown is actually knocked out which is actually a pretty good pretty good for us the blown's knocked out so for them to like get the blown back and actually utilize it they need to get um you know the, the ordinary rod and then find a quick ball or an ultra space something to get it back out so um we can play them to that one prize spot a little bit more comfortably than you're normally able to i think for sure yeah we'll be able to play him into that one prize spot a little bit more comfortably because the blonde's already gone in the discard pile um won't feel as bad when we when they go down to one prize card. we're gonna feed them the meowth um i guess we just hope they don't have the boss's orders play if they do play boss's orders um another two energy do they have this they should have seven there i'm gonna yeah i think they'll have seven i yeah all right all right yeah this is why it's a, this is why it's a rough matchup Bay blonde's still very good um, for sure, for sure. Let's see what we can pull off here, though. All right, they got their three prize cards. Send up the cat. Dark energy to my. Oops, I was put on the wrong one. Quick ball away. This. I don't think I'm gonna take anything though. Um. I wanna goon anything? I do wanna draw more at that. I kind of want a Marnie here, and then I want to find the the reset stamp on the next turn. There's a reset stamp. There's the black market. We could just save this hand. Uh, I could just spoil the fun for. I don't. I, where did I Zigzag pick? I think I don't think it mattered where I Zigzag picked. I don't think I can ever make a difference. So um, I think we just hold the hand. To be honest, I think we just spoil the fun for ten, and then uh, yeah, hope we don't lose. Our opponent doesn't have bosses orders and seven energy to recover to knock out my Eternatus. Or I guess Crobat, actually, they would only need four. They would need four energy. Boss plus four energy. Hopefully they don't have that. If they don't, um, then we win. Uh, no, we don't win. We survive. <laughs> we don't win. We need to do so much more than that. I don't know why it's on the train thought of us winning. We win. Wait. We don't win at all. It's not even close to that. We survive. And we'll get to play the game for uh, maybe another turn. We just stamp to one's pretty good, especially when they don't have the heat factor in play. Um, unfortunately for us... We can't get value out of the black market anymore because even when they knock this out, they'll draw two prize cards. So that's kind of rough. We could try and set up um, like the Hoopa. Yeah, we can get the Hoopa in a situation where it can draw prize cards like on this uh, Oracorio here actually would be a great situation. I maybe should put the capture energy down here because now I could have gone with something like if I had the if I had the dark energy in my hand, I could go dark energy here. Uh, I don't have a way to move my... I'd have to find, like, another hide energy at this point, actually. Because I don't have an air balloon in play. So, actually, this is, like, I'm going to send this up. If I can get another hide energy plus a boss, KO or a Corio stamp to one, that would be great. We have the black market as well. If they knock out Hoopa, they still don't win the game. If they get the stadium, fire crystal, sure, they win the game. But force them to really find that, I think, would be the play here. It's also possible our opponent doesn't do anything until they have, like, the boss play. So, like, there's nothing forcing them to actually attack with Blown here. They don't have to attack with the Blown here. They can leave it set up on the bench. Be ready to go. Another Fire Crystal down. All right. You'll love to see it. So, that's three Fire Crystal. They're going through quite a few energy here. Discard two more. Are we able to... I mean, this is a big guy. He's got seven HP. They can also, though, just weld it to a Cramorant and snipe a Zigzagoon or a Hoopa at this point to um, 
to win the game. I guess I could have avoided putting either of those in play to avoid that Cramorant play. All right, something I'll play around in the future, actually. Um, the game's developing this way. Definitely could go with not benching the Zigzagoon like I did and try and avoid benching the Hoopa like I did. Don't bench either of those and be like, all right, you can't Cramorant. You have to You have to get through the Eternatus. Yeah, I like that. Forcing my opponent through the Eternatus. All right, still, I think our game plan is Hoopa, KO, or Corio. Um, yeah, make them burn through more energy to get through the Hoopa, hopefully. And then we get back into the Eternatus. Um, with the Black Market, they want to draw the prize card. So that's going to be the game plan. That's what we need to find. We need to find boss, dark energy. One, bo Two boss left. Plenty of dark energy left. Set up this uh, Eternatus and uh, see what we top deck. Stamp's going down for sure. We're definitely stamping our opponent. All right, stamp. Um, could quick ball. Zigzagoon, if I put the Zigzagoon in play, my fourth, I have room for fourth bat. So we quick ball away the research here, I think. I quick ball away the Zigzagoon, actually. I should have quick ball away. Well, well, this is actually, this guy's good. Yeah, I should have quick ball away the Zigzagoon. Zigzagoon was actually trash here. Um, should have never done that. Um, all right, grab the Absol, because it could be good. They could, they could find their escape board. All right. Black market. We could get boss energy. So I'm going to play into that. And go with the Crobat here. Boss, no energy. Very close. Nothing. Capture here. Full bench. Gonna hold on to this. Not gonna play. Oh, we did get the boss. Oh, we can boss the Oracorio still. What am I thinking? I can boss the Oracorio. I don't know what I was thinking there. I was like, we can still boss it. We just have to attack with the Eternal. I would much rather attack with the Hoopa. So that's where I was going with that. I wanted to attack with the Hoopa, you know? Is better. Uh, it's not bad. They also have two energy trapped on this blow now, which is energy they can't recover. But does it matter? Yeah, it does matter actually. So if these two energy were in the discard pile, in their hand, wherever, in the deck, search them out with flint. Uh, they got to have access to seven energy. Right now they don't. Um, that's good for us. That's very good. Um, have to like dark energy. We could go in with the Hoopa. Could just keep on with this Eternatus and go with that though. And we'll see what our opponent has. They had one card hand for the stamp top deck. Our retreat to the Jirachi. Okay, now they got all the energy in the discard pile. They need to recover a lot of energy. There goes our black market. So Hoopa, no longer on the table for us. I don't think we ever want to attack with the Hoopa. Um, the biggest thing I'm scared of, like I just mentioned, was the... Uh, the big, Yeah, the biggest thing I'm scared of was the Cramorant play. Once again, I think I could have like played it where I don't bench any of these guys. I don't bench the Absol, I don't bench the Zigzagoon, I don't bench the Hoopa. We put ourselves in a situation where Cramorant just isn't a factor. Which is what I, which, what I think I should have done. Here comes the Dene. We do win next turn. We have our third boss in hand. We can KO the Dene. We just need them to not hit. Uh, attach. We need them to not find eight energy or uh, Welder to Cramorant. They are down three Welder. We'll see. Yeah, Welder to Cramorant also actually loses us the game. So let's see what they got. And if not, we got that third boss. Feeling kind of fortunate to have drawn into that. This is one of the reasons I like four boss in the deck. It's so much easier to find it. Like I said, I've been going back between three and four boss. Currently on the three. Uh, trying to find space for other stuff um, while trying to feel out if it's even necessary to have the four. Of course, it like theoretically sounds good, might be good. Is it actually good? Mm, don't really know. Quick ball, get rid of the fiery flints. There's Zation, that's not Cramorant, which means I think we have this one locked up. I'm gonna go ahead and KO. Oh, wait, they're not done yet. Oh, looks like Cram is prized, or they don't play it as there's no Cram happening. It looks like we have this one locked up. The Dene's on the field. Well, no, I guess they could still draw ways to get seven energy. And they got to get a switch card, though. They are down two, not two. Yeah, they could probably have a switch card. Three switch. And the escape board's gone. Maybe I shouldn't have put apps. Well, some people play two escape board. I guess you never really know what I'm saying. All right, we did it. Unfavorable matchup. Tough situation. I think they maybe misplayed by actually even attacking and knocking out what my active, my, uh, my active there. I think they maybe misplayed there. I think when they knocked out my, my Meowth, they should have just, like, left it alone and just set up more... For this situation that pretty much had to happen i feel like i feel like this situation had to happen um also burst gx was an option there too i forgot about burst gx there for my opponent as well but the black ones in the scrap pile, like i mentioned earlier man there were so many outs for them actually hey we won though let's get into the next one all right into another one going first we did get the uh coin flip win so we're going first uh hoopa start we have a way to get a eternatus and then we have the crowbat to try and find the energy the rest of the hand a little iffy um, on what I have to give up with the quick ball. I got the reset stamp, I got the Marnie. Marnie's a draw supporter, which is good. Reset stamp, which is really good for late game situations. You saw in that last game against the Baby Blounts, that was pretty much the reason we they had a huge hand. I, they almost definitely had everything they needed. Um, 
We are in the mirror match, which I really like. I really like reset stamp in the mirror match. But I think I have to give it up here, unfortunately. Grab the Eternatus. Bench. Capture. Grab the... I think I'll grab another Eternatus off of this. Take a look. Um, yeah, grab the other Eternatus. Sure, why not? And... Good bat, but Marnie's pretty heavily played. I'm attaching a balloon here and just pass. Yeah, Marnie's pretty heavily played in the, the turn to right now, so I feel like there's nothing I can really pull off the bat besides more basics, so I'm just going to chill uh, on that for now. Um, wait, I'm assuming they're playing a turn but actually they might not be. Yeah, it's not. I initially, I was just like, yo, it's a turn Wait a second. They could definitely be playing something else. Just because they open Crobat doesn't mean it's a turn I immediately made that realization as I was going into the turn. I saw the Acrobat. I was like, uh, probably isn't, and it's not. Just some kindization deck, turbozation, ADPization, Jason, Jason, uh, two to Dene, so I think it's probably ADPization. No surprise, definitely the most popular deck going around right now is the ADPization. Uh, it's very good too, very good. ADPization is very good. Not a whole lot changed for the deck either. You added like a Crobat, um, and then like a couple Turbo Patch maybe, and you're just you're just you're just going. The deck's super fast, super good, uh, all the above. Like, not a super good fast start from our opponent, though. Eh, not bad. They attach the water energy, so you know they're playing 4 E-Switch. That's usually something that's kind of like a tell. When, like, the when a water energy gets attached to a Dedene, um, they're either playing 4 E-Switch, or they know their second water is prized, or they don't want to risk their second water being prized. Um, but it looks like it's going to be a whiff on that this turn, which is great for us. This is a big deal for us. This matchup's close. I've always, this, this matchup has felt very close. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a whiff for them. We want to be aggressive here. We want to get this knockout. Um, there's the oh nice. That was a good top deck there. The VMAX. Um, play a great ball. Another Eternatus. Get the squad out there. Draw cards with the Crobat. Get five cards. Uh, Darkness energy. So we're doing one, two, three, four, five. Get that sixth guy in there. Gonna ping this Zation. Make it a little bit easier to KO him. Then hit him with the Marnie. Shove that hand back into the deck. Uh, I don't want to see that stuff anymore. Uh, wait, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, thirty times. This. Yeah, we got it. Making sure, making sure. Do your math. Red dead. Knockout, Crobat. All right, we did it. Okay, on Crobat. First two prize cards. This is a big knockout. This is because sometimes it's hard for us to get over the ADP. Sometimes the ADP's got a uh, a big charm, but we got our dangerous drill now, so we can answer that. But like they got a big charm or something like that, it just can get really tough to get over or ADP, get that KO on the ADP sometimes. So it's really nice to get this early knockout and not be like, I have our first attack be a swing into an ADP that we just can't quite finish and then uh, st starts to slip away from there. But um, it's not. Our opponent's hitting us with Zacian here. This leaves us in a ridiculously good spot. I'm I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling good about this one, that's for sure. Need a couple more basic Pokemon to get the knockout on this than that uh, Crobat. Actually, we should need one more. We can go attach to our Eternatus Probably grab ourselves. I don't even know what I'd want to grab here, to be honest. But I figure out something. Um, Marnie, no longer outs the basic Pokemon. Currently, don't have a basic Pokemon. Uh oh, we could whiff. <laughs> that would be real bad. Trying to catch our Crow out here with the Mawile. Uh, yeah, Mawile is pretty good against the You can play a lot of Crow. Mawile is also good in Mirror as well with the amount of the Dead End Crow that that deck plays as well. There's the. Zamazenta, which is going to be annoying to deal with. Uh, but there's so much stuff on their bench, we can just chase around it at this point. We don't really have to hit through the Zam anymore at this point. We just chase around it. That's going to be our game plan. There's a boss, so we could chase around it this turn if we want. Or chase around this turn, because we can't one-hit quite one-hit KO this station. And we whiffed here. Um, it was a black market, though, which is pretty nice. So we're going to go catch uh, black market. Boss up. It's really unfortunate to whiff here. Um, but we can just KO... Oh, well, he can attack, so I don't want that. Right in. Uh, so, yeah, now this turn, this is where we need something out of these prize cards. There's a goon. That's a basic Pokemon. That's a hiding energy. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. This could get rough. We need, uh, yeah, we have a lot of outs. We got, what, three Crobat left? We got uh, three Marnie, four Research, three Quick Ball, two Great Ball. Got a lot of stuff left. A lot of stuff left. Um, so I think we're just going to send up the Hoopa. I'm not sure if I want to attack with the Hoopa. I can't really attack with the Hoopa. We're going to send up the Hoopa. Our bench is also locked now. Oh, no, man. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to split my energy on my Eternatus here. Uh, I'm going to retreat into a Zigzagoon, and I'm going to pass. <laughs> this is not good. 
This is, uh, this feels like it happens all too. We have so many outs in our deck to stuff that Marnie, uh, killed us. Really did. Didn't do too much for them, it looks like, either, though. They've been having a, a little bit of a, uh, rough draw from that Marnie as well. Still have plenty of time. I'll mention that. We do have a lot of time to find something to, to do something in this situation, though. We still have, we have to go have time. Definitely have some time here. Here comes the Zam. Gonna be swinging this turn almost for sure. I see I'm gonna be swinging into the Zigzagoon. And, um, eh? we got, we got time, we got time. That's the important part. We have two turns, we have two turns. So we have two turns to find Boss Eternatus Energy. Um, and get around the Zamazenta. Cause Zamazenta is the only thing that's gonna be in the active here. I could send up a Crobat and make it awkward. Um, oh, here comes the GX attack from uh, ADP actually. That's interesting. I feel like they don't win the game any faster by attacking with, or GXing with ADP. They went at the same speed, which I guess is also just fine. Um, I think they went at like the same speed here by GXing with, uh, with the ADP. <clears throat> they have the second E-switch? Uh-oh. I think they forgot that they already attached here. Uh, nope, they have second e -switch. I was like, did they already forget? No, they're good. Here comes the GX attack. Like I said, though, I think they went at the same speed basically here. From what they were gonna win at before. Off return acrobike okay please give me something there's a crowbat we're back thin out the hand a little bit with the dangerous drill i'm gonna do it get rid of that crowbat four five there's a research all right we are back in business all the eternatus um acrobike again i mean neither are really good to be honest basic one do i have left i have quite a few basics left we can actually go for the win here this turn got the ping on the adp and then we hit him with the research we got it right yeah energy air balloon bat retreat and knockout last knockout rough start from our opponent we had a rough mid game i feel like that happens all too often with this eternity second that's why i've been trying to keep the consistency high in the deck is because I feel like so often I get marnied and then it's just like, well, I have nothing. That's gonna do it for these games with the Eternatus deck. Like I said, guys, changing up decks all the time, changing them up over on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash GG. link in the description below. First link in the description below. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the games. I uh, hope you guys are having fun with the new set. Uh, have a good day, thanks for watching, and peace.